Hey guys, it's Chad here once again from 40K Amateur Hour. Now we're gonna work on a little, uh... Hi Rico. We're gonna work on a little bit of painting. Chad, not so much the guy that likes painting. Chad believes that models should be painted and Chad likes having painted models. Chad doesn't really enjoy painting. Chad calls himself Chad a lot. Yeah, Chad likes talking about Chad in third person. Anyway, yeah, I like building, but I'm not so much the painter, but I found a pretty easy way to do camouflage, kind of low maintenance, low tech, but uh, anyway, I wanna share that with you now. So here's our specimens. Just acquired a couple of uh, secondhand, thirdhand, whatever, chimeras, and did a little repair on this one. Had to replace a broken barrel and put the multi lads back on there. And obviously don't, these don't match the whole gray-black color scheme that I'm using. So the first thing is a healthy coat of gray primer. Here we go. Get them all fully primered in gray. And here's one of the really hard parts about doing camouflage this way. You've got to let it dry completely before going to the next step. Don't let it get kind of dry or sort of dry. Let it dry completely. And if you're in doubt whether or not it's like really dry, let it dry a little longer. So as you can see, here's the camo pattern I've been using. Not incredibly difficult, but this is what we've got to work with. Now I've used a gray primer because it does a good job of covering up old paint. And I keep repainting old models. But it's important to remember if you use primer, clear coat over the top of it again, because otherwise, unlike regular paint, primer tends to try and come off. So anyway, okay, so here's how we do the pattern. Take your masking tape. Take a strip of this here masking tape. And it's okay if you get it crooked or finagled or cattywampus because that's actually how we make our camo pattern. Now if you want to have a really jagged sharp pattern, you can lay this down, take your X-Acto knife and cut it back and forth. I like a softer pattern as you can see here. So I just use my fingers and I rip back and forth across the length of the tape. Again, if you want it more jagged, make it more jagged. If you want it more smooth and flowing, make it smooth and flowing. It's okay if it comes off in pieces because we're going to be rejoining it in just a minute back to back. Kind of reminds me of working on the floor in your house. Yeah. And this is how we get a nice random camo pattern. Now we're going to lay this out and reattach it all flat edge to flat edge like this. Overlapping slightly and just making a longer and longer strip as we go. I feel like Bob Ross, you know, explaining the happy, happy little camouflage around. patterns. All right, until we get something that looks like that, take a moment to make sure the middle sticks together good and then lift it up. If you do it right, it comes in one piece. There we go. There is our template for our camo pattern. Now, take the end, start at the bottom of the vehicle somewhere, and think about as you lay this out how you want it to look. It's gonna be gray wherever I put the tape because I'm shooting black over the top. So if there's any particular corners or edges or something that you want a specific color, keep that in mind as you lay it out there. I'm not too picky on this one. So I'm just gonna start the straight edge here, putting the flat part down here where it kind of disappears and wind my way around the tank. It's going to look pretty rough and ragged and rambly, but that's okay because it's camel pattern. All right. Working it down, getting it to stick good. All right, and that is really the basis of it. I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute and keep going, put some more pieces on there, and we'll resume in, the, in a minute. But that's really the basis of the whole thing. Take this jaggedy piece of, of masking tape, wind it around the tank. All right, so we got the first tank started out. Occasionally in there, if you have a lot of tape coming together, just cut yourself a ragged hole out. Take a look around and see if you wanna add an extra spot in somewhere. One thing that's important for me is I like to put this red stripe right here on the tanks. And if you have camouflage, you know, two colors meeting back through there, sometimes it'll bleed through the other, the red stripe and look bad. So I like to try and make sure that particular area of each of my Chimera chassis is completely covered. That way you've got one color in the background. 
But this one's wrapped up and looking ready to go. Now I'm going to start tearing up another piece and wrap the other one. If your tape isn't well adhered, you'll get softer, fuzzier edges. If you want a harsher, crisper edge, make sure the tape is worked down. Soft and fuzzy is cute! So I'm going to take a moment and just work all the tape down on both tanks. And then we'll shoot. Pipe down, you! So it's reveal time. This Wait. is revealing Chad. No, revealing the, the, oh. the cameras. We've laid the black down paint over the top of the masking. And now we're going to peel the masking material off and see what our pattern looks like. I'll put the razor knife down before I cut myself. Once again, it's never perfect, but that's camouflage, so it doesn't need to be perfect. So if you get a scratch or a scuff or have a hole in something, who cares, it's camouflage. Just gotta make sure we get all of it off there. There's been a few times when I thought I was done and suddenly realized, oh, there's still tape over there. I think it's going to fit him with the squad pretty darn good. Oh, there's one more piece of tape. Right there. Right around the corner. Oh yeah. Good stuff there. Alright. I'll get the other one unwrapped and we'll talk about where to go from here. So, here's the end result. This is the Chimera we had. Our focal point is here. And these are the other two that I rescued from eBay and have painted to match my army. So once I get through with the rip and stick and paint method like I showed you, then I just go back, put down my highlights, take a third color, see this darker gray here, touch it up, use that to fill in any gaps, holes, blunders, or mess ups I made along the way. And then you have a simple three color camo job.